covered in ants. They're literally crawling out my shorts. Oh, you've got ants in your pants. So I've just finished up cleaning all the existing stonework on one of the gable ends. I've found a load more stones that are suitable with nice faces because this week I'm on a quest to try and complete as much of this remaining brickwork as possible. So in an effort to try and make things quicker this week, whereas last time I kind of found my line that I need to make with my stonework, I then tried and filled in stones in between to suit that line already. What I'm gonna do this time is basically just get kind of any size stone to a degree, as long as it's got a nice face and I can fit it in, get that in, not worry too much about the line. Once all the mortar's gone off and it's all set, then come out and just slice everything to the line that I want because I ended up doing that at points last time anyway and it was just so much quicker than trying to find and faff around with stones so that's the plan time to get sticking them in So we're at the time of year now where it is potato planting season. So I was at the agricultural shop the other day and I picked us a bag of seed potatoes up because we're both really keen to actually get some in the ground this year. We missed the season last year and we were kicking ourselves because I don't know about you, but I don't think any potatoes you buy in the shop ever taste quite as good as a homegrown potato. Look at these juicy little friends. Oh boy. So I chose this spot for the potatoes because the soil here is already really fertile and it's quite flat around this area, but also it gets a lot of sun all day. So hopefully the plants are gonna do really well in this location. There is still quite a bit of prep though that I need to do on this area before I can actually get the potatoes in the ground. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> Might need a change of plan for kids. Now all the prep work's done, time to get the potatoes in. Says they're easy to grow, we'll see. These are my little seed potatoes. I'm gonna space them about 40 centimeters apart. They need to be about 15 centimeters deep. I'm gonna cover them back over and I've just got to remember, this little eye has got to point to the sky. <laughs> Thank you. 
we've got quite a bit of insulation left over from the roofing. So just like we did on the front with cutting it down and putting it between the rafters, on the gables, I'm actually gonna stick it to the outside edges of the rafters, just to try and keep as much of that wood structure on the warm side of the building as possible. That in theory should stop any internal wood from getting damp, having any condensation of any type build up and should then last longer. that insulation is on I can go ahead and block it all in by bricking it up I'm actually going to try and lay this row without putting a string line down to see if it has any effect on how quickly I can do it it's obviously easy enough to do kind of a second row without a string line because the row below it is already plumb and level but doing this first row that is just sitting on top of all the bumpy rocks could end up looking terrible but you know it's all going to be rendered over anyway so even if it does look sloppy and bad no one's ever going to know once it's covered up and it'll just be our little secret Right, well, I'm definitely using a string line going forward because that turned out pretty sloppy. So it's been a few days since we laid the stonework, so it is now ready to get cut down before we start putting the bricks on. We did also take a day off because it's been my birthday, so I am feeling a little bit older, but certainly no wiser than before. We both have winter birthdays, so having a birthday here compared to the UK is a pretty different experience. It's basically just been shorts and t-shirt weather. Exhibit A. Enjoy. Lovely legs. I actually need some lotion, I'm cooking. Oh dear, look at the state of you. Don't, I can barely see anything through these, look. Oh. Hang on. You look like you've been in some sort of icing sugar factory malfunction. So while Ricky's working on the opposite gable end, I'm going to get my favourite power tool back out and use the SDS drill to try and rake out the concrete on this side. There are some quite nice big stones on this gable, so I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to do a pretty decent clean-up job.
this side, the stonework has definitely come up some of the best on the building, I think. There are a couple of small stones that have got absolutely smothered though with concrete on the faces, so we probably will end up just whipping those out and putting fresh stones in rather than trying to recondition the faces. It's important that we can get these stones back into a really nice condition because on the outside, we haven't got many options with how we finish the walls and we're just going to be using simple lime pointing. Whereas in the inside, if we're not able to get all of the concrete off the faces of the stones, we have got a little bit more flexibility with how we finish the walls. So it could be potentially lime washed or use some lime render just to disguise any imperfections. But yeah, on the outside, we definitely need to aim for perfection. This is looking all very organized. I like your piles. <laughs> You're talking about the bricks? <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to, otherwise you're up and down like a yo-yo. Are those ones all in the right place now? Yeah, so it's so the first and the last ones all set. So now run out the string line and like I've done many, many days before this, <laughs> fill all the rest of the bricks in. So I'm out of mortar, I'm nearly out of light for the day, but I've got to a good point. I've only got tomorrow left to do this, this week, so it's a bit of a tall order to see if I can get all this done, but I'm confident if I get up early <laughs> and pull my finger out, then I should be able to get on. It's actually a bit delayed today because unfortunately I knocked out one of the stones that I'd set the other day, so I had to clean all that up, reset that, but Tomorrow I should be able to whiz through it because I've done the ones that go on top of the stone now. So everything else I have to do is just laying brick on top of brick. So in theory, it should be easier. But yeah, see you in the morning. So it's gonna be a busy one today. Starting early, sun is just rising over the hill. Got a lot to be getting on with. So let me take you down to the tiny house and just show you what's left. Okay, so the first job I need to do is to cut down some insulation and get it fixed to the rafters. Then finish bricking in second row here, second row there. And then once that's done, head back round to the first side I was working on and finish off the last little row there. A new toy, which is hopefully gonna save me from getting covered in foam. Well, that, my friends, is what they call a game changer. Never am I gonna get messy with foam ever again. Unfortunately, this jumper didn't get the memo in time. I'm gonna go and give it a quick clean with this and then on to mixing up some mortar. Okay, that's this side done now. So I'm still making good time, but that sun is getting lower and lower in the sky. So I need to grab Victoria, have her help me move the scaffold around to the other side. And finally, do the last row on the other side. Victoria? Yeah? Can you give me a hand to move the scaffold? 
Oh, look at that. He even got me a brew. He says it's for you. <laughs> <laughs> There we go, job done. I say job done. Still a couple of tiny bits left to do. Things like this, and this, and that. But that's gonna be a job for another day. I'm taking the win right now. I'm very happy. I actually managed to get it done on time. The sun has pretty much disappeared. Oh, and I forgot to say, if you're wondering about the gap at the top still, that's for the bricks that we're gonna have as our overhang. That's gonna come all the way out pretty much in line with the tiles and be rendered up to the edge of the tiles. But gonna let these bricks go off probably for a week or two and then we'll tackle the overhangs. So give me your thoughts, you happy? Yeah, looks good. I'm glad that it's not ended up being quite as difficult as we anticipated. Yeah, it's not been too bad. And it's always a good thing when you can no longer see your internal wooden rafters from the outside. 